Hello, I'm back, Lucha FM, after a week off. I hope you haven't missed me too much. Um, I appreciate the support for people who said they were going to miss my videos. Much appreciate it, as always. Uh, and I'm back today. I enjoyed my holiday, so thank you for asking in advance. Um, but yeah, I had a nice, relaxing week away, recharge my batteries, and I'm ready to go. Looking forward to seeing how I get on in this episode with Fight Club Pro. Um, hopefully it'll be a good episode. Where you left us off last, we brought in some new additions to the roster, even though initially I didn't want to bring anybody else in. I just thought I just knew it wasn't going to happen because when I only had about 11 or 12 people on the roster, it, it, it was going to get a bit samey-samey after a while because there's only so many fresh matchups you can do. So I tried to resist signing everybody that I wanted to sign. And we've got a decent sized roster now. We've got some got a decent tag, roster, tag team roster, women's roster, and then singles roster. So hopefully we can have some really good fresh matches and uh, see how it goes from there. So uh, I'll keep the intro short and sweet. I just want to say thank you for the people who watched the videos while I was away. Um, I do appreciate you catching up with my videos. I do produce a lot of content every week. So I know it's hard for a lot of people to watch every single video every single week. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are. And uh, we've got our first blackout episode of this episode. So hopefully it'll be a good one. Just going to pick Starworks. No, no, I don't want you know. Starworks, there you go. Let's see what... Uh, despite the best efforts to make alternative arrangements, Luke Jacobs has been stranded in the airport and will not be able to make the show. Okay. Uh, locker room incidents. You have been approached by Ricky Knight Jr., who was asked uh, has asked the Roy Knight to be allowed to hang out backstage. He's the unemployed. Yeah, because I got rid of Roy Knight last episode and he caused a lot of issues, so I'm going to put no. So I'm not going to allow it. Right, locker room was a buzz after David Rain and TK Cooper apparently got into a huge row over something and had to be physically separated. Dave Rain, I don't know, I won't read the rest of that. Right, um, won't bother with that. Basically, Mercedes, Blaze, and Raven Creed got some increases, but he said, oh, my words was, it was a pretty awful session. Okay, that's not good. Um, and then Trent Seven did pre show training with some nine students. Uh, some heat backstage with Dave Mastiff and Trent Seven after a former openly after the former openly said that he disagreed with the choice of senior road agent Dave Mastiff. Um, not to that bit, and then Doug Williams has been openly complaining about Trent Seven having the senior referee position. What is, is Trent Seven a referee as well? Okay, have I accidentally hide? Have I accidentally put Trent Seven as senior ref? Okay. Um, and then Johnny C Johnny Storm has caused an incident backstage where uh, when he antagonised Mark Haskins so much that the fight broke out between the two. Uh, Clint Margera almost got into a fight with Ashton Smith. Oh Jesus Christ! Like a circus round here with all these fights and arguments. Um, caused some damage to his rental car and refused to pay for it. Oh my God! Another one. Right. Flash Morgan Webster has got into a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room after pulling a tasteless rib on everyone backstage and then TK Cooper has got into a lot of heat with the rest of the backstage after so same 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 um, same we've seen before uh, well, Trent Seven's getting on everybody's nerves by the looks of it so Kanji wants to enhance a character it's automatically added fine the rest of the locker room will just Leave it as that. Continue. I don't like all this backstage stuff on this because it's boring to me. It's like watching a soap opera, and I want and I watch the soaps. I I love watching the soaps, but I don't really want too much of it on a game when I'm trying to play this. I feel like it's, I feel like it's a feature they've added to this game, to to feel like they've added something to the game. It's not like it's anything that's going to enhance the game, and make it better. It's just going to make it more annoying. So it's a bit of a shame, really, but what can I do? Anyway, right, let's start the show. 
we'll do four way singles to start the show. Um, we'll put Brandon White in there. If we want to give him a bit of a push, we'll put Johnny Storm, Jody Flash, Lee Hunter. 15 minutes, and we'll have Brendan White winning. And then what we'll do is Paul has got to do bloody angles to keep everybody happy. We'll do attacker. And then uh, Jody Fleisch kicks in like that. Like that. And we'll just put in here. A lot of my angles are very samey samey so i apologize in advance um i'm not one for showing like being very creative with angles i just keep them simple right we'll do men's tag team view exclude all the book we've got tag team should we do a light costume who is the tag team champion is it still light costume let's have a look i think i think some, oh no, they still they still have the tag titles. So we'll do them and we'll have them against subculture tag titles. We'll put the tag titles on the line. We'll try and steal the show. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the AI in charge of it. And what we do, how long we've got left? We've done 40 minutes so far. Do another match now. We'll do one on one. We'll do female women's match. Yeah, Millie. We'll have Millie against Session Martina. I think Millie is the women's champion. Yeah. So we'll have the title on the line. And then what we'll do is skip the minute. Do storytelling for this one. Hopefully that'll help. And we'll have Millie retain her title. And then after that, we'll have Session Ma Martina attacking Millie. Martina. Probably we've got enough time for one more match, so that's what we'll do. We'll have a men's match and we'll have hmm, who should we have? Right, let's have a look. We do Trent. We do Trent against who has any wrestled? Mark Haskins, maybe? Mark Loku. Mark Loku. I don't think they've had a singles match on this save yet. I could be wrong. 18 minutes. I think it's for the top. I have to listen to the check. Oh no, I don't. Rampage Brown is the champion. We'll have Michael Oku win this. Open match. Oh, okay. We won't do that then because Trent will be unhappy. We don't want one of our best stars unhappy. So we'll have that. We'll leave it up to the AO, which will probably mean Trent will win. Right, I think we're all good to go. So Brendan White wins the four-way, got a 45 for the segment, 41 for the rest win. Um, Brendan White held his own against the rest. Lee Hunter was the best worker in the ring. Jerry Flash did well. Johnny Storm is terrible, so we'll probably look to get rid of him. Angel Apple's got 32. Um, Subculture have defeated Lycos Jim to win the tag team titles. Seven got 56, 52 rating for the rest win. Um, Kid Life Us 2 was really off his game. Geta should have done a better job, but overall, pretty good. Millie defeated Session, Session Mark Martina, got a 50 rank for the segment, 49 for the wrestling. Um, Millie was the better one out of the two, and they have good, great chemistry as well, which is good. So maybe this will start a little feud between them, I think. 33 rating for the angle afterwards. And then the main event, Trent Seven. Defeated Michael Oku, as I assume, because Trent is a big diva. 
Uh, it got 58 for the segment. Wrestling was 60, which is really good. And uh, Michael Oku with a 61 was slightly better in the match, but both performed well. Increased their popularity. Yes, we've finally gone past the 50 point. That's good. 58 people turned up as well. Increased their popularity. So, so yeah, as always, we made a loss of 4,000, which is not good. Still at 12 in the Midlands, our home base. So, not too bad to kick off the show. I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode. Right, so we've got our next show, next blackout episode happening now. Uh, as always, we'll have the Starworks venue um the pin meeting we're not bothered about that locker room instance here we go right so ricky knight jr has come backstage with an angle idea it's been all back there which is cool yeah, okay. session mark martinez comes backstage with an idea for enhancing their character it's been automatically added to your store creative ideas uh jetta did some training drills with mercedes blaze uh, and raven creed so the trent seven with nine students Mark Haskins has caused heat with Joe Lando when he kept being openly critical of his in-ring work. Um, I think there is a way of changing this on the options, isn't there, to have less chaotic moments like this. I think I might change it, to be honest, because it's getting a bit ridiculous. Bob Ball got into a heated argument with a fan there backstage, outside, sorry. Uh, Grado was in fine form before the show. Thank God for Grado. You've never wanted a great movie, hilarious road stories. Thank you, Grado. You good. You are a good egg. Uh, heat backstage again with Dan Reed and Trent. Uh, Trent Seven tried to bring Nathan Craze into some backstage team building, but only succeeded in annoying him. Uh, Des Robinson was brought into wrestlers' court, accused of not, jo accused of not joining the rest of the locker room. Uh, Dan Reed was the same. Um, backstage rumour, Mill Overdrive, after Rio and Dean Ayas apparently got into a heated argument. Grumbling's backstage with Dave Master, who was happy with Trent Seven. I need to get rid of Trent Seven as senior road agent. It's causing nothing but issues, but I can't do it until after this show. Right. Here we go. Right, let's start the show. We'll do a tag team match, so we'll do a way tag team. Let's get some more. Let's get a few tag teams involved. We have 17 minutes. Any division. Men, sorry. Tag team view. So we've got Lycos Jim, who've just recently lost the tag titles to Subculture. So we'll put them in there. And then what we'll do is we'll put Newton. No, we'll put more than hype. Those are my boys. And then what we'll do is we'll put the last hard men in there as well. Like that. And then we'll put the tag titles on the line. Um, we'll have subculture retain them because I don't really want them to lose in the first defence. And then what we'll now we'll leave it as it is. We won't do still the show for this match. Right, next match we'll do. We'll do a six-way singles women's match. I think that's the way to go. And then we'll do. We'll have Jetta, Millie McKenzie, Session Moth Martina, uh, Chantel Jordan. Riho and Nina Samuels. I think they're the best out of the ones that we've got. 15 minutes, we'll put the title on the line. And then Millie retain it. Kind of want to give her a long title reign. And then after the match, we'll have Session Moth Martina attacking Millie after the match. Playing up, bear with us, there we go. Martina, Millie. Right. Let's 
keep it simple for the next match. One on one. We'll do men's. Uh, Kenny Williams in a singles match, who I pushed very highly in the last Fight Club Pro series I did on it. PW20 will have him against Joseph Connors, another wrestler who performed very well. I'll leave that blank. And then what we'll do is we'll have Kenny fighting. Joseph Connors fighting. We'll just put draw afterwards. Like that. I think that's it. I don't oh we could do we'll do one more match, I think. We'll have one more singles match and we'll have Mark Haskins. Oh, come on. Mark Haskins. Why, why is it not letting me pick? Ah oh, there we go. And we'll have him against Rampage Brown. So 17 minutes we've got the title on the line and we'll have Rampage McCain. Try and do storytelling. We won't go crazy, we won't do still the show. Um let's go. Right then. So subculture retain the tag title's got 49 rating for the segment, 43 for the wrestling. Uh Kid Like Us 2. Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews were the best ones out of the lot. Unfortunately, Jack Stars is not very good, so maybe he needs to go. Uh, unfortunately, Nathan Martin wasn't very good either. He was all right. He wasn't that bad, but yeah, he's been better on the other uh, TW20. So, right, William McKenzie retained the title in the sixth way. Got a forty rank for the seven, thirty-five for the wrestling. Millie McKenzie with a forty-nine. She was the standout performer. And then Session Mark Martina with a 41. Um, the rest were okay, but nothing to shout about. Get it was okay, I suppose. Fortunately, no standout performers there. Angle afterwards got a 26. And then Kenny Williams defeated Joseph Connors. Got 32 ranked for the segment, 33 for the wrestling. Kenny Williams was the standout performer. And then, fortunately, neither are rated very well in this database, which is... Sad to see. 28 rating for the angle afterwards. And then the uh, the match between Rampage Brown and Mark Haskins. Um, Rampage Brown retained his title by winning. I've got 40 for the segment and 42 for the wrestling. Rampage Brown was our standout performer there. Right. We'll just leave that there. Sign up for a report. Five grand loss, mostly because I picked a lot of wrestlers in this show. Um, until things get better, until we can get a TV deal, um, this is just going to happen. I did change, I did get rid of the alliance I was in, um, that I created, and I'm in the alliance with NWA, so I'm hoping, because we're coming towards the end of the month here, I'm hoping the start of the month we'll, we'll get a payout from the alliance, but we'll see. Uh, before I forget, Inner Circle, is it? Yeah, so we need to do... We need to right. So what we need to do first is uh, senior road agent because that's what everybody's picking up about. Should we have Dave Mastiff maybe? Clint Margera. Okay, so no. As I said, that won't be good. Personality is not very good. Is Star Wars just blah 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 right? Doug Williams, maybe. I'll have Doug Williams. Uh, you already have a senior road agent. You must... Oh, okay. Right, so we'll move him. Everybody other than... Oh, Clint Margera's not happy. And we'll just have... So, right, Doug Williams is the new senior road agent. We've got one more space for a... Um, what's it called? Chief Enforcer, sorry. So I think maybe Rampage Brown if he's not already. Uh, yeah, so we've got Rampage Brown because he does look like an hard bastard to be honest. Uh, I don't think Trent is a good locker room leader, so we'll get rid of him. And we'll put put Clint in there maybe. Oh he's already he's already there. So we put Grado. We'll put Grado in there. I think Grado's got a good personality, I think he'll be good. Uh, we won't have anybody as a stooge. A morale officer will probably have to get rid of him, I think. We'll put Clint as 
on the rail like it's a Want to get Trent's happiest cousins took over from him. Right, let's see how this goes now. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. I'll see you in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back with the last show of the episode. And we'll go with Starworks. Click that one there. I'm trying to keep these episodes about like 25, 30 minutes each one because the other ones they'll just I think they'll just go a bit too far. Right. Uh TK Cooper's got a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room after pulling a text of grip on everyone backstage. Okay, uh Johnny Storm got in a heated argument with the fan out. Oh, I keep forgetting to get rid of Johnny Storm. I need to get rid of him. Um Mark Haskins has caused heat with Joe Lando and he kept being overly critical of his in ring work. Um Mark Haskins uh has issues with Pip Margera. And then Jim Jim Hunter and Dan Reed apparently got into a huge row. Uh, Steve Linsky went to a wrestler's court, making a mess backstage. Uh, Jetta had a pretty awful session of training. Nothing to say about Trent Son. And then what we'll do is we go medal. No, nothing to medal here. So what we'll do is uh, pull a rib. Um, who was it? I can't remember now. Uh, who was it that pulled the taste of rib? It was only literally 10 seconds ago. Oh, I'll, I'll leave it. I don't want to risk it with the wrong person. Right, let's get booking. So what we're going to have is the first match we're going to have is we're going to have Mark Haskins. No, not Mark Andrews. Too many marks on my roster. Joe Lando. And what we're going to do is... We're going to have Joe Lando win this match as punishment to Mark Haskins. Don't care, Mark Haskins. You are doing the job. And then what we'll do is we'll have Joe Lando attacking Mark Haskins after the match. Mark Haskins wants to be a dick. He will get uh, assaulted and humbled. So, uh, that's the first match done. Do another singles match now, and we'll do uh, Connor Mills versus Omari. Just because they haven't really, they haven't wrestled for a while, so I'll try and keep them a bit happy. And then we'll just do. Connor Mills attacking afterwards. Okay, I put them here. There we go. Right. That's that done. Now, what we'll do is we'll do a tag team match. We won't have the tag, tag, tag champions wrestling this one, we'll give them a rest. The men's tag team division. And we'll do that. We'll do new blood versus uh, the Marauders. There we go. Like so, and then what we'll do is we'll do a three way singles, and then we'll have the women's. We won't have Millie in this one, so we'll go Mercedes Blaze, uh, Jetta, and Rhea. So, um, right, we'll do 78 minutes. Right, we're not happy about something here. Mark Haskins is extremely happy. Well, Mark Haskins will just have to get over it, won't he? Uh, right, we'll just start the show. So Joe Lando defeated Mark Haskins as punishment. Oh my god, the shooting star elbow. So basically, for years, I've thought about this move. The shoot, so like instead of doing the shooting star press, as you're coming down, you do an elbow drop. So it'd be like you start in the shooting star press position, you do the thing, and then you land. And finally, somebody's doing it after all these years. Right. Uh, the match, second got a 38, match got a 40. 
Uh, Mark Haskins was slightly better. Mark Haskins and Joe Lunder have great chemistry. That's really good. Angle Atwood's got a 15. Uh, Romari defeated Connor Mills. Got 41 rank from the 7th. Pretty active wrestling. Connor Mills was a better performer. Angle Atwood's got a 33. And then we had New Blood defeating the Marudas. Um, Amir Jordan pinned Mike Blue with a frightful cross smash. Got 38 for the segment. 37 for the wrestling. Kenny, Mill, Kenny Williams and Mike Bird were the stand-up performers of that match. Um, Mike Bird and Marv Hall had excellent chemistry together. And then the main event, which is a bit of a disappointment one really, to be honest. Um, 27 for the segment, 27 for the wrestling. Mercedes Blaze won. I think maybe I should not position this as the main event in hindsight. I, sh I should have done another match afterwards, but oh well, it is what it is. Oh, actually... I just thought I can go to return and I can do an extra match. I forgot about that. Um, Jetta was the stand-up performer. Right, we'll do one more match to keep everybody, keep the fans happy. We'll do four versus four. Match, we'll go men's. And we'll have Grado, Trent Seven, Flip Marguerra and Jody Fleisch versus Joseph Connors. Brendan White. Uh, keep looking down the down the roster. No, not Lee. We all have Lee Hunter. Yeah, Lee Hunter, Luke Jacobs. Because Luke Jacobs hasn't wrestled for a little while. Let's leave that one there. Let's leave that now. There you go. Keeps the fans a little bit happier. Uh, the team of Grado, Trent Seven, Clint Margera and Jody Fleisch defeated the team of Joseph Connors, Brandon White, Lee Hunter and Luke Jacobs. I mean, Grado pinned Lee Hunter with the wee boot. Um, second got 46, wrestling got 41. Trent Seven with a 58. He was our best performer by a long while. Luke Jacobs is doing well though, 48, so he might get a little bit of a push. He's pretty good. Jody Fleisch with 41. Uh, Grado didn't. Grado was the worst performer in the ring, but he's the most over guy in the in the in the roster at the moment. Probably three snap pop outs in one region, forty two rating at overall, and fifty nine people turned up. So not a bad way to end the episode. Um, we are we lost four four thousand seven hundred. Still got a twelve of popularity in the Midlands. Right, that's that then. Let's just check the inbox first. Omari jailed. Oh my god. Omari's been jailed for two years after being convicted of perjury. Well, I've never seen that happen before. Right, we better get rid of him from the roster. Uh, I'll get rid of Johnny Storm while I'm at it as well. Where is the roster? There we go. Is Omari even on the roster? He might not even be on the roster. No. Well, he is on the roster. Right, so we need to go contract release. And we need to get rid of Johnny Storm. Even if it might make Jody Fleisch slightly unhappy. Right, so that's that done. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. I better save the game before I forget. Um, there we go, like so. Thank you as always for watching this video. There will be another one on, I think it's Saturday, is it? I usually do PW, Wednesdays and Saturdays, isn't it? Um, yeah, so there will be another TW video on Saturday. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now we're getting into a bit of a stride in the booking, who I want to book, who I want to push. So hopefully you lot will get behind me. And I'll be back on Saturday. Thanks again. All the best. Bye.